Alright guys, welcome back to more Pet 6 Master League. Today we're going to be at home once more. So in the last part, uh, we had a, we had a good game against Arsenal. It was very unlucky though, very unlucky uh, in the end. But today we pick ourselves back up. It is Boxing Day guys, so we are uh, we're, we're in the spirits today. We are in the spirits and we're going to be uh, fighting for one last win before the halfway point of the season and then... Uh, we do have a cup game coming up against West Ham, who's sitting in 10th there next. So, uh, you know, what we'll probably... Mm, to be honest, we might as well try and put a full-strength team out, maybe for that, as, as best we can, because at, at the end of the day, we've got the um, January window coming up, and all the players will get rested. So, I suppose maybe that's something we can do. But, uh, you know what, I still want to win the league, so I've put our full-strength team out today. Uh, maybe we can do possibly the same in the next uh, in the game in the cup. But uh, yeah, we've got Maldini, we've got Simic and Skettle um, at the back today. And that's not a good ball. Zaja is going to sit on the left today with Maxwell who returns. Uh, he's going to go back into the right wing back position. Uh, I think we got... Uh, did we got... Oh no, I think I took Ono out. I think we've got Mafio and Gilberto sitting in the DMF roles today. Mutu uh, is going to be up front with Obina. I've gone with Obina ahead of um, Saviola because I just like Obina more these days. I don't know. I just I just think he plays better than Saviola these days. So, yeah, I've gone with him. And I'm going to go with that partnership. And, yeah, I think we've got Ben Hateria in attacking midfield. And that's it for today. And here he is, Ben Hateria. Oh, and that's a good ball in. Oh, we get it away. So, yeah, our uh, league run was stopped in the last episode. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Could have been worse. But, uh, yeah, we've already played Charlton twice this season. We drew to them once, and we beat them uh, on the last occasion. 5-2, and that's a ball into the box. This isn't looking good, and that's... Well, oh, yeah, Kushak is in goal today. <laughs> He's in goal because uh, Karini kind of needed a rest. And there was no reason to go for that whatsoever. I don't know what he was thinking there. Ball into the box. Simic away. Back to Simic. Oh, it's not looking good, this. And that is way off target. Simic. Out wide to Maxwell, good ball. Another good ball there. Gonna go back a little bit though. Here's Mafio. Ball in there, didn't make it. Holland. Bent. They've got a man over on that right side. Not anymore now. Maxwell's gotta get back to this one. They've got their left back up, up there attacking. Here's Darren Bent. Pretty dangerous. He signed for uh, spares the season. Oh, oh, it's well. We got away with that. He signed for spares. I think for something like was it sixteen mil, something like that. Season after this game, he was a very good striker. I think he scored quite a few goals. Season of this game for Charlton it wasn't enough to keep him up though. They uh, were relegated and haven't returned to the Prem since. Obina, oh, Obina strike, and he went for it again for some reason. Simic, nice ball out there to Maxwell, what a ball that is. Oh, oh, it had to be, it was waiting for Obina to hit that. And why didn't he, I don't know. It's Benatira, here's Obina again. Obina, oh, it's too far for him. Tried to get it over the top of the defenders, didn't quite work out. Bina. Mutu, it's too far for him. Ashton. This Ashton, though, he's threatening down this left side, even though he's meant to be a left back. Need to look out for him, honestly. Bit of man marking, I suppose, maybe. <laughs> Here's Mutu. Oh, what a ball that is. 
Maxwell, the ball in is not quite there. It's Zajas. He's looking to get more game time. He's always on form. And it's Maxwell. Oh, it's unlucky. Not a whole lot we could have done. Thomas. Going to take it back. He's going to try and get down. It's that Ashton again. Matthew, good ball out. Here's Obina. It's Sarjas. Oh, he's doing well. It's Sarjas. Oh, it's Obina again. It's Benatira. It's Mafio. It's Mu. Two. Oh. Back in there. Mafio again. Whipped in ball. Oh. Nothing out of that in the end. All that possession. It was good, but they were just covering the areas in front of goal that they just needed to in time. And it was just. It was. Ah, it's very unlucky. Ashton again, running down this left side. Taken away by Mutu, though. He's going to be brought down for a free kick. It's quite exciting, this one, so far. You know what I mean? No goals or anything, but still, it's like, who's going to get this first goal? Charlton look better than they have done in the Cup, I'll tell you that much. I, think, I, I would say they're playing pretty well, and that's going to be Maxwell's shot. Although they're saying that they did get those two goals in the first leg. That's going to be half-time interesting to be honest it's kind of it's I'm, I'm wondering what's going to happen in the second half let's keep it up though and I reckon we can get a goal so second half is off and um, yeah here we are. go then if we keep banging on the door they might let us in eventually here's Arjas Oh, that's not good. There's a gap there. There's a gap. Oh! Well, is this the point in the season where everything turns around? Well, you know, Arsenal have stopped our winning streak and now all of a sudden we're losing to Charlton. Is this where... Is this where... We're going to have a bit of a rough patch or something? <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know where our defence was there. We really should have kept that one out. And who was it that was meant to be marking that? Mafio went for the sliding tackle. And he really shouldn't have done that. I think it was Simic there, but he went the wrong side. Simic is not meant to be playing on that side. So I think it was Skertle who was meant to be covering that. And Skertle made an error in the last game against Arsenal. If he's not careful, he might be getting dropped soon. Mutu. Zajas. Zajas' effort. Oh, it's going to be straight out of the keeper, though. Oh, it's... Obina! Oh, Obina gets it. There we go. The equalising goal. It's been pretty interesting every time we've played Charlton so far this season, I think. And that was straight down the middle in the end. And I think um, I think the key keepers should have done better. Let's take a look at it again. It's his move to. All he's got to do is put a beaner into that bit of space there. And wow, the keeper should be getting that. He had all that left-hand side of the goal to aim at. And yet he went for the middle, but it worked out, I suppose. Taken away there. Obina, Benatira, his Mutu, his Maxwell. 
Maxwell's effort or oh, on target, but uh, nothing of it. Nobody covering this. Maldini's got to be the one to get there. Oh, and this is terrible. Oh, Kushak saves it in the end. He's on form today. But I don't know. I mean, I'd rather put... I think Carini's been the better keeper, honestly, though. That's why I've gone with Carini these days. We needed a... What an effort that was. <laughs> you know, just talking about how I like to put Carini in and then he saved something like that. And we've still got this. And we've still got it. And we've lost it. Good ball over to Obina. Obina's effort. Oh, it's off target in the end. Maybe there was other options. Benatera's in a bit of space there, but mm, it's debatable. Tira to Mutu. Mutu. It's good. It's good. Oh, yes. It's excellent stuff by Mutu. Looks like he could be back. He's the man. Great ball over by Obina. Quite liking the Obina Mutu combination, honestly. Nice little ball over the top. Takes it under control. Little bit of a stumble from the defender. It's a good shot into the bottom corner. The thing is, though, if the defender didn't get that right, it would have been a penalty anyway. So I, re I reckon, he, 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 I guess the defender had to go. He had to do something anyway. It's probably right to go for a tackle, maybe. And that's good. And he's not going to pick out Mutu. Oh. It's unlucky we could do with that fitted goal. Scare all. Oh, needs to control it right. I'm going to make our free subs in a moment. Obina's is actually going to come off for Adebayor. Um... And yeah, it's Mutu! Oh, it was a good effort. Um, yeah, I think Maxwell's coming off for Gwen Fran as well. And I think the last one is. I think it's Maldini's coming off for Sanya. So uh, yeah. And Zajas is going to lose that one. Not long to go in this one now. that away. Oh, Abina was going to try and put Mutu back in there. It's kind of like how it works, you know, like Mutu gets the ball, passes it to Abina. Abina puts a ball through over the top to beat the defenders and then Mutu tries to finish off in the end. That's like our game plan. Been working that one out on the training pitch. And it's Obina. Oh! He found a bit of space, but he's going to win us the corner. He's going to come off now. Benatira is going to whip it in there. Ned is not there. Nobody on the edge of the box for us to maybe try and win that one back. Ben. Ramadal. Zajas, here we are, right at the end of the game. Charlton in possession. And it's Mutu. Oh, he couldn't release Adebayor, but it doesn't matter. There's the full-time whistle. 
and uh, we've come back from behind to do it and that's uh, that's a great result right there excellent stuff Obina man of the match today I think I agree with that definitely I know that, like um, Mutu got that goal and whatnot but though, then again Obina did get the other goal didn't he <laughs> uh, forgetting about that there but uh, yeah I would say he was he was excellent I'll tell you what he's turning into one of our best players I think now um, yeah, not too much else to say. Uh, Matthew 6, Ben 6, I just got 5.5, Maxwell 6.5. It was a solid game, I'd say, just about. Anyway, guys, fixture 15 results. Liverpool have lost at home at Anfield to Newcastle 3-2, so that is a good result for us. Uh, Aston Villa have beaten Portsmouth 3-2. Manchester City have beaten Fulham 2-1. Arsenal have drawn to Middlesbrough 1-1. Uh, Manchester United have also lost at home. Uh, that's the second home defeat in a row for them. They've lost to Chelsea 3-1. West Ham have beaten Tottenham 2-1. And Blackburn have beaten Bolton 1-0. So, uh, yeah, in the last episode, we were like, oh, we're back to 11 points. And now we're up to 14 points in this episode. So, yeah, 14 points clear at the halfway point, guys. We've scored 40 goals more than anybody. We've only conceded 9. Goal difference, 31. Excellent. With the, the, We only screwed up that one game. We could have been sitting on the full maximum 45 points at this point. But it uh, it doesn't matter. Surely we got to go on and win it. Surely, at, at half a season to achieve that, we got to keep that up in the second half and uh, win this title now. Surely, but uh, yeah, Chelsea have now moved up to second. You know what, Chelsea? I don't think deserve to be second at this point because I would say Liverpool and United have just been the better teams, but they've uh, they've pipped them to it there. They are on the same points as Liverpool, though, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, that is the league table at the halfway point. If you have a look down at the bottom, Arsenal have moved down into ninth. They've only managed to get 20 points uh, out of their 15 games. Not good enough by their standards. But, uh, yeah, then we've got uh, Bolton um, at the bottom with Manchester City. Yeah, it's not too bad for them. Um, you know, they're only three points off Charlton and whatnot. Blackburn are on 16, so... Who knows what's going to happen in the second half. As you can see, Mutu is actually top scorer at the moment with 14. Drogba and Luis Garcia chasing him there uh, with 10 each. Rooney's not too far behind for United there on 9. If we move down to the bottom, we've got Henri there. He's only on 6. Well, we're back to the Cup. It's the quarterfinal at the FA Cup first leg. We're going to be away at Upton Park to start off for it. So uh, last time we visited there in the league, we won 3-0. So hopefully we can maybe... You know, emulate that again or something. But Chelsea are going to be taking on Middlesbrough, Manchester City, Portsmouth, and Liverpool, Bolton in the quarterfinals, guys. So I will see you for that one, and then we will officially finish off this half of the season, and then we'll look towards um, maybe bringing in one or two players, maybe selling one or two players in the winter window. So yeah, thank you for watching this episode, guys. Please do comment, subscribe, and share as always. I will see you guys next time. Take care.